Muhammad Umar Farooq biological video please make sure to subscribe like and share ask the question for answer and comment about the artwork you can also answer question to each other for solving the problem here we will discuss about the cellular mechanism of insulin production and glucagon inhibition it means the insulin produced due to the response of due to the response of sugar which that is the hyperglycemic glycemic effect in the blood so that means the insulin produced for absorption of sugar into the tissue while glucagon inhibition for the uh, production of glucose which that's inhibited from the glycogen into the muscle uh, as well as liver so here is the structure of the human which contain a digestive system so the digestive system contain pancreas stomach and liver also and small intestine and large intestine duodenum and jejunum ileum and ascending descending and transverse colon and sigmoid colon we will not discuss here about that explanation but we just understand about where the pancreas is present so the pancreas is present and lie on the on the on the left left side of the uh, duodenum which contain a glandular like structure and yellowish color and these produce a different hormones for example exocrine hormones and endocrine hormone exocrine hormone release into the duodenum while the endocrine hormone release into the blood so here we will discuss just endocrine hormone which that is secrete into the blood and that is the name is the alpha and beta and gamma cell, uh, delta cell produce different hormone so here is the structure of pancreas inside which contain a islet of langer hans that is the globule like structure which that is mass of the cell is known as the tissue and this tissue is the compound because different cells made up of this tissue so his exocrine secretion is the pancreatic lipase pancreatic amylase trypsin chymotrypsin while endocrine part which that produce insulin glucagon and somatostatin insulin is used for the anabolism glucagon is used for the catabolism and somatostatin is used for the growth growth factor while exocrine pancreatic lipase is used for the lipid digestion amylase is used for the amylopectin and amylase dig amylose digestion so here is the structure of islet of langer hans which that is the composition of different cell so here just we will discuss about the beta alpha and delta cell which produce insulin glucagon and and glucagon and insulin and somatostatin so is the blood vessel which that's contain uh, which that is used for the absorption of uh, glucagon or insulin by the secretion of the cell and enter into the blood so that is why it is known as the endocrine hormone so islet of langer hans contain alpha beta delta cell so the here is a blood vessel artery and vein so islet of langer hans contain alpha cell which that produce the glucagon which glucagon will inhibit the insulin production while glucagon is used for the glycogenesis glyco glycogenolysis while the beta cell produce insulin which used for the glycogenesis and lipogenesis while alpha cell produce alpha cell used as a lipolysis and uh, breakdown of lipids uh, or fat in our body while the beta cell produce the insulin which that is uh, which that is opposite reaction while delta cell produces somatostatin so the somatostatin is used for the growth hormone so this growth hormone is used for the muscle growth and a uh, bone density etc etc so here i will draw a a whole structure of cell membrane which that is closely interconnect to each other alpha cell and beta cell here so this beta cell is used for the production of insulin while alpha cell produce a glucagon which that is used for the breakdown of glycogen while the beta cell used for the uh, uh, construction of glycogen in our muscle and uh, muscle and liver so here is the structure of the cytoplasma membrane which that is made up of 
uh, bilayer of phospholipid contain a hydrophobic and hydrophobic hydrophobic interaction and inside is the hydrophilic and contain a different type of protein is known as the protein channel for using uh, the transport okay here is the alpha cell which that is produce glucagon so let's talk about the how will affect the glucagon and how to produce insulin by the inhibition of glucagon when glucagon will be inhibited and the insulin work due to the increase of the blood glucose level so here is the channel which that is known as the glut glut 4 channel which that allow the sugar move inside by the uh, allow to sugar move inside without without uh, without insulin because it itself insulin producing harm uh, cell so that's atp will be uh, used for it that is the active transport while it is uh, we can say that it is the diffusion because the glucose uh, is more in the outer environment as compared to the inner cell of the beta insulin producing cell so here is the potassium will be move outside efflux of the potassium so when increase the atp due to the mitochondrial uh, production of atp due to the glucose that is produce the glycolysis as well as krebs cycle in our mitochondria that produce atp this produce atp will be inhibit the potassium ion efflux so that's accumulation of potassium is create the negative charge this and outer side is a positive charge that means this stimulation will be increase here is the insulin granules in, in the form of vesicle that is mature after the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi bodies so here the calcium move inside by the stimulation of inhibition of potassium ion from efflux so the influx of the calcium ion by the l type channel calcium and l type calcium channel which that used for the movement of inside this means this means calcium will be allowed to release of the insulin so another mechanism is the gastrointestinal increase in which that is also promotion uh, because that is the um, glucagon like peptide which that is produced from the entero endocrine cell but here we will not discuss just our view about that so here is the insulin produced here is the glucagon Cell, uh, producing cell is known as the alpha cell and it is contain a uh, insulin receptor so that means primary messenger is here which that is known as also ligand ligand is in the form of insulin which that bind with the insulin receptor and inside the g protein g copper uh, receptor and uh, g uh, copper receptor protein which that means g protein contain alpha subunit it is made up of monomer so that trimer so trimeric unit of g protein which contain alpha gamma beta these alpha cell contain a gdp and guanosine diphosphate and these alpha cell will be stimulate by the gtp to convert gdp so here is the GD, gtp convert into the gtp from the atp so it means this convert into the gtp and separate alpha subunit and go into the adenylate cyclase adenyl adenylate cyclase enzyme and here that is embedded in the plasma membrane and convert atp to cyclic amp and separate two phosphate group and this cyclic amp is the cyclic messenger so the atp come from the mitochondria remember so that cyclic amp is the cyclic messenger which that is activate the protein kinase inactive to protein kinase activate so the activate protein kinase is phosphorylase by the using of atp to convert adp and this protein kinase uh, activation by the phosphorylase protein kinase uh, will be active and that's go into the uh, using for the stop signal uh, production of glucagon so that's go into the nucleus and here is a nucleus which that's contain a transcription factor so this transcription factor produce rna from the dna is known as the rna polymerase enzyme 
this RNA go into the cytoplasm and use for the transcription to translation to produce protein and that protein is the specific for example in the glucagon that is the gene activation that is the uh, structural gene which that is uh, produce the glucagon and the rest of the gene is the regulatory gene so this gene will produce glucagon and this inhibition is due to the second messenger of cyclic AMP which that activate this to inhibition of production of glucagon. So no longer will be glucagon produced during the increase of the glucose in our body. So remember here is the GABA GABA is also known as that is the another uh, ligand and this ligand is the signaling which that give the signal. GABA go into the here is a GABA receptor which that is activate and this activation of the GABA is due to the cyclic AMP and this cyclic AMP which stimulate the GABA GABA receptor so this receptor will bind with the plasma membrane and this plasma membrane bind with the GABA to attach this GABA recept receptor with the ligand is known as the GABA and this GABA will be attached and chlorine ion will move inside and that means the chlorine ion will be moved inside that means the inhibition of the glucagon because the negative charge so this uh, inhibition uh, of the if the calcium ion will move inside that means the stimulation to production of glucagon is possible but here is not so that the GABA is released from the beta cell insulin producing cell for for the signaling to inhibition of the glucagon which that is the vesicle form of the glucagon are present in the cytoplasm and um, glucagon uh, glucagon want to excrete from the uh, into the blood but beta cell is allowed inhibition that is the inhibition is due to the production of insulin due to the increase of the glucose level in our body so here is the Chlor, uh, chlorine, uh, chlorine ion which that inhibit the glucagon vesicle while other vesicle which that is will be produced from the DNA uh, from the transcription factor to trans transcription to translation and produce the globule and this globule will be inhibited by the uh, sacred messenger alright so here is the potassium ion will be moved outside and this means the potassium ion will move outside outside will be uh, will be uh, will be here is the mitochondria which that is produce ATP and this ATP will be stop the production of potassium ion while this production of potassium ion uh, here is the glucose which that is convert and produce ATP and the inhibition of potassium ion that means the calcium ion will be not enter inside so it means the calcium ion will be not inside that is the negative charge inside inside and that means the action potential is uh, depolarization will be occur but the calcium ion will not inside move while the chloride ion move inside that means the increase of the negative charge inside and that's accumulation of negative charge to inhibit the in glucagon production right so here is the uh, what will be happen when insulin will be released so the here we will discuss that is the insulin release uh, uh, insulin release also affect into the go into the blood so that's remembering thing and insulin also bind with the insulin receptor in the glucagon for inhibition of production of glucagon while go into the blood vessel for the uh, using the insulin receptor in our tissue to allow the facilitate the glucose facilitate diffusion from the uh, glute channel so that is blood vessel is work like that so it means that is the metabolism will be occur and glycogenesis will be formed lipogenesis will be formed and that is known as the anabolic effect while the anabolic effect is reversed due to the production of glucagon that is the lipo uh, lipolysis and glycogenolysis that is the major example of that metabolism